Hey everyone, I'm working on a 2007 Nissan Murano. What I did last weekend was I had to replace these spark plugs because this Murano has just over 200,000 miles. Um, so those spark plugs are about 100K. So it was a lot of work. I had to remove all this, including the uh, intake manifold. I had to take uh, this part here, which is the uh, upper manifold. It was a lot of work and the reason why I'm doing the video is just to point this out because it was my mistake for not taking a picture or paying close attention to what I was unplugging. So when I took this upper manifold out, I had to remove these two hoses here that go connected to the solenoid and then connected to this canister. It's all part of the vacuum system. So apparently when I put back the uh, upper manifold, I transposed or reversed the location of these two hoses, which uh, gave me a code for high idle. The car was still running, but it was running a little bit over a thousand RPMs, which made the engine throw a code. Um, I researched and it said it had a leak. So I started paying close attention and I started hiss uh, hearing a loud hissing noise coming from this solenoid. I don't know the exact name or, uh, part number, but I think it's called the uh, idle air control or something, solenoid or something along those lines. So uh, I thought it was bad, ended up buying a new one. Nissan sells this for $238 a piece. Uh, I thought that was a little steep. So I decided to go the cheap way and just buy a eBay part, which was I think like maybe $15 anyway. So I plugged that in and I found a video on YouTube, which the guy was describing some other troubleshooting, uh, troubleshooting uh, methods. And I paid attention to his, the hose uh, routing and I, I saw that mines were incorrect. So the video again is just to point out if you ever undo this and forget to, uh, take a picture of it or, or just pay attention to how it's routed. Here it is. All right, you see this hose right here uh, that goes directly into the manifold. Okay, it's running here and it goes directly into the center canister of this vacuum system. Then it comes out and goes into this solenoid on the left hand side. This is exactly how it's gonna go mounted on top, okay? Then it comes out and routes back into this valve. So when the uh, ECU tells the solenoid to open up, this will actually open up a lever inside, which will allow more air uh, for your uh, engine to produce more horsepower. Uh, in case you're going up a hill or uh, need to pass someone or something along those lines. But there it is again. Uh, I'm just making this video in case someone runs into the specific problem, which I did. I just happened to find a video, which... Uh, Thank you for, thanks to Joe, Joe S. Uh, I believe the, uh, the, uh, title for his video is Nissan Murano P1800 solution. In case you're having any vacuum issues, he'll explain what his, uh, troubleshooting methods were. Um, let me just run this by you again. This hose comes out from the actual manifold and runs into the center of this canister, vacuum canister. It comes back out, goes up into the solenoid. On the left hand side, this is exactly how it's going to go mounted and bolted onto the manifold. Then here on the right, it comes back out, it comes back out and into this uh, valve. I hope this video helps out anyone who runs into this problem. Take care.